seems like a simple statement, but God has really done a lot for us. He's given a lot. I wrote out these communion thoughts before Friday, before Friday night, I should say, which Friday night was the youth's Christmas lock-in here at the church building. I knew ahead of time that there was no way I was going to be able to think and prepare anything on Saturday. Because if you didn't know, sleep isn't really a thing at a lock-in. So when you get home Saturday, you instantly crash and you wake up in the evening time. And like I mentioned before, I wrote this before the lock-in, so I can confirm Yesterday morning, I got home, crashed, and woke up in the evening time. <laughs> but all that joking aside, it was a great time of fellowship that I and the teens got to have together as we bought presents for children of the Hope Medical Clinic. Their families received care through the Hope Medical Clinic. We also got to make Christmas cards. We got to watch movies. It was a great opportunity and time spent together in fellowship that God gave us. Even me being exhausted yesterday morning before resting, that was a gift given by God because I was alive and my body was still functioning properly to let me know that I was exhausted. <laughs> so many things that are given to us by God and some we often don't recognize or we take for granted. There's one thing though that we must never forget that God has given us. It's the most important thing that God has ever given us, and that is salvation through Jesus Christ. It's written in the book of John, a couple of the most famous verses in the Bible, where it says in John chapter 3, verses 16 through 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. It's an amazing gift that we've been given. Let's never forget that great gift that has been given to us and let us give thanks and reflect on the sacrifice that was made on our behalf as we go to God in prayer for the bread this morning. Let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, come to you in prayer to thank you at this time for the ultimate gift, Lord. No other gift can can surpass this gift, Lord. And I, I pray at this time that we focus on this time of communion now with you, Lord. We block out all other things and, and we're focused here and now. And I, I thank you for this great gift, Lord, of, of your son, the sacrifice, Lord, on our behalf. And I, I'm so thankful. And I pray at this time that as we take this bread, we do so in remembrance and reflection on the body that was broken and beaten leading up to that cross and on that cross, Lord. I pray all this in your name. Amen. Let's now go to God in prayer for the cup. Heavenly Father, again we come to you in prayer to once again thank you for that great sacrifice, Lord, that great gift, Lord, the ultimate gift that was made for us, Lord. I'm so thankful that we are able to be connected to you, Lord, through that gift. I pray at this time that as we partake this cup, we do so in, in a manner where we are remembering and reflecting on the blood that was shed leading up to that cross and on that cross, Lord. I pray that all this in your name. Amen. At this time, we have an opportunity to give back for the many blessings that God has given us. There's collection trays in the back of the auditorium as we leave later this morning. If you feel so inclined to, to give to the different ministries and, and mission works that we have going on, one of the mission works that we have is our Kids for Kids program, where 
after I'm done praying, Chip will come up with a stuffed goat as well as a basket, and you can give to this program where we buy baby goats for widows in India. There's more about this within your bulletin, a little excerpt about that, but let's now go to God in prayer for our blessings. Heavenly Father, once again, we come to you in prayer to thank you, Lord, to thank you for the, the many, many blessings that we're given, Lord, so many blessings we take for granted, Lord. It, it could be, we, we could ha be having struggles, Lord, having struggles ourselves, having struggles with our, our family, having struggles with friends, having struggles with people we know, Lord. But help us remember how much of a blessing it is to have those people in our lives, Lord. Help us also to remember that we're never truly alone, you are always there, Lord. That's, that's the greatness of your love. We are never truly alone. I also pray at this time that the funds that are collected through this congregation, that we use them to, to glorify your name, Lord. We use those funds in our mission works, our ministries, in the best way to glorify your name. I pray all this in your name. Amen.